guys, it's Sherelle here from Planner with a Praise, a channel where creativity meets functionality. If you're new here, then welcome, and I hope that by the end of this video, you will decide to join the Praise team. If you've been here before, then thank you so much for your continued support. When you become a part of the Praise team, not only will you have the opportunity to learn how to organize and decorate your paper planner, but on my channel, I also offer craft from tours, craft from organization, and I also do shopping hauls when my budget allows. So if this sounds like anything that you are interested in, I hope that you will go ahead and hit that like button as well as subscribe to my channel and give me a chance. All right, my friend. so in today's video, what I will be doing is I will be unboxing and setting up a kit that I got during one of my shopping hauls last month. Let me show you what it is. So here it is, my friends. Last haul I did back in January, I was able to nab this Recollections Baking Planner Kit with 149 pieces inside. The regular price was $19.99, but my friends, I was able to nab it for five dollars that's right so i will be unboxing this with you as well as giving you my sincere review on this product so because my filming space is small i am going to go ahead and just take this out of the box if you will just give me one minute Okay, my friends, so this is all of the contents that were in the box that I just showed you. I'm going to just take these things and put them to the side, and I'm going to share with you detail by detail all the things that were supposed to be in this box. And because it was on clearance, I'm not sure just yet if everything that's supposed to be in the box is actually included. So let's go ahead and find out. So right now I do know that I do have the planner. It is right in front of me. The next thing that is supposed to be in this box is six dividers. So let's go and see what's inside. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got the dividers. Next up is clear inserts. And let's see. Here are the clear inserts right here. Okay. And they have the same feel as page protectors. Then I should have 20 recipe cards. And that is right here. I've got the recipe cards and they look like they are the same size as an index card looks like it might be a three by five okay next i should have three insert cards and here they are and it looks like all of the rest of the contents that are supposed to be in this box are individually wrapped in this clear paper so I will be going through each and every last one of them and just giving you my review. One conversion chart. Let's see where that is. Okay, of course, this is not a conversion chart in either of these packages. Let me just go back here. And this is the conversion chart. It has a measurement guide right here. Then I should have 10 ingredient inserts. And that is probably these tabs right here. Nope, these are pantry tabs actually. These are the pantry tabs. And this is the ingredient inserts right here. And lastly are the stickers and they are packaged right here in this clear wrapping. So now that I have everything that was supposed to be in the box, let's go ahead and do a review. I will be sharing with you the quality and let you know whether or not I think this $5 purchase was worth it. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the planner itself. So the planner is vinyl and it has a black and white plaid pattern and it's titled Bacon Recipes and it's decorated with a cute little rolling pin. As far as the feel of this planner, the planner feels cheap and the vinyl feels loosely covered on the backing. But I will say too that there's also some type of cushioning between the vinyl and the hardcover. So maybe that's why it feels like that. I don't know. But it definitely does feel 
like they could have made the vinyl a little bit tighter. Now making our way into the guts of the planner. Here we have the ingredient shopping list. I do like it. The pages of the shopping list are heavy, maybe like a 28 pound weight. I don't know that they needed to be this heavy for a shopping list, but nevertheless they are and that's a good thing. It looks like there are about maybe 15 lines to create a shopping list. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 lines to create a shopping list. And it looks like it is a back and front, so that's nice. So if you have to make a longer list, you're able to use the back and front of one page. Next up is the conversion page, and it has the measurement guide for the different measurements that you would use during baking. So we have the tablespoon, the one fourth cup, the one cup, the pint, the quart, and a gallon. And then under each header, it's broken down. So say for example, let's go to quarts. One quart header, two pints equals a quart, four cups equal two pints, 32 ounces equals four cups, and 0.95 liters equals 32 ounces. Pretty sure that's how we're supposed to uh, read and gauge each topic. Then turning the page on the back of the conversion chart is a brown and tan plaid pattern. So already I kind of feel like the vibe of this recipe planner is very farmhouse and then as we go to the divider it's a white and gray marble divider it has gold foiling and it says breads so this is the first section of the planner the tab here also says breads and so any bread recipes you have you have a section specifically for all of those recipes the next divider is cakes and pies, and we continue on with that farmhouse feel. I do like that they added gold foiling for their font and lettering, so that's nice. Next up is the section for all of your cookie recipes, and it has a green tab. So every tab has its own color, which is nice, but they also made sure to print what each divider and section is for. So this section is for any of your pastry recipes. Here is a section for custards and puddings. And lastly is a section for your candy and confections. All right, so I will tell you far as the quality of this planner, each divider is very heavy. The quality of the paper is very, very good. I like the idea that, again, they made sure to use that gold foil for their font and lettering so that each section, not only does it feel good, but it looks good. I see here that they added some page protectors so that when you use your instruction cards you have a place to put them to keep them safe so that is definitely a win-win now before i open up the instruction cards and the other things that are individually packaged i want to just draw your attention to how the planner itself is made it's a ring binder system it's gold metal and it has a tab here and here so that you are able to just push down on the tabs to open the rings and I definitely encourage you that anytime you are using a ring binder do not pull the rings themselves to open the binder because it's possible that you will knock the rings out of whack so make sure that when you are opening it you are using the tabs provided for opening now closing that's a different thing you're welcome to do that but please to preserve the ring binders just open it properly that's just a little tip from me um what else do i want to tell you here is a pen loop which is good. Let me grab a pen and see the size of it. The pen loop is too wide to keep it inside. Let me try another writing utensil. Here is a marker. 
same thing the marker is kind of loose but if you are using a pen or any other type of writing tool that has this little gadget right here you could use the pen loop to put your marker inside but then you'll just have this little tab right here to hold it and keep it from sliding out of the planner so having a pen loop is a good thing and now let's take a look at what's inside of all this packaging here so this here is your instruction cards and I'm gonna open them because I just want to know how heavy the paper is so let's see and already I'm loving the feel of it Wow they give you several I think you're supposed to have something like 20 in here and let's see if they are back in front yes okay so I really do like these cards. Again, they're about three and a half by five or three by five, the size of a simple index card. The feel of them is the same weight as an index card. Here we are with that gold foiling. I really, really appreciate the gold foiling. It just kind of upgrades any type of paper accessory. So one side of the card allows you to write down the name of the recipe, your cook time, the oven setting for that recipe and how many that recipe serves and then here there's a subheader where you can write down all the ingredients that you need to create the recipe and on the back is the instruction so you know add stir mix set yeah so i love these cards i even like the color of them and again there are 20 so for the baking lovers out there, people who like to experiment with different recipes, this is really, really a good planner for you to have. Next up is the three inserts. Let's see what the inserts are supposed to be used for. All right, chocolate chip cookies. So these inserts already have recipes on them. So this card is a recipe for chocolate chip cookies and the back has the grid line paper. This recipe is for buttercream frosting. Same thing, the back has the grid lines like the graph paper. And lastly is a recipe for vanilla custard. And each recipe gives you the prep time, the cook time, how many servings each recipe makes. Okay, so there you go with those insert cards. We have two more to open. This is the stickers, and the stickers are clear stickers, and they seem to be the exact same. So the kit comes with two pages of stickers, but each page is the exact same and this is the images of the stickers so here is an oven mitt and it says bake with love this is kitchen utensils a spatula and a spoon made for you here's a couple of whisk measuring spoons measuring cup cookie cutter here are those cute little rolling pins all right so you have those and then less up is these labels one for sugar flour brown sugar cookies and sweets and in another video which i will link at the end of this one i was saying that if i liked these labels i would use them in my kitchen i do like them but now i'm having second thoughts about using them in my kitchen so here is my complete review of this baking planner kit i'm not a baker so this is a planner that I won't use. However, my daughter is. She is a baker. She has a small baking business that she operates out of the house. However, I'm not sure that she would use this. Not because the planner is not good. I think it's a very good planner, but she just already has her own system. So she's probably going to stick with what's already working for her. For other people that do enjoy baking and cooking, I would definitely suggest a planner like this even at the regular price of twenty dollars it doesn't break the budget and michael's always has the 20 percent coupon for any items that are not on sale so if you had to go and purchase this planner 
off of the shelf at $20. With your coupon, it already brings it down to $16. I like the quality of every single paper product that is in this planner. I like the fact that they use gold foil as part of the decorating technique. I like that each tab has its own color code and they are already pre-labeled. I like that. What else? I like that they offer page protectors as part of this planner. When you're using any type of recipe that is printed on a sheet of paper because it protects the paper. So this was definitely a good idea to add page protectors to protect your recipes that are written out. I like the gold metal rings. They are super, super tight, which is good. Right now they're not loose. And my guess is that even over the course of time, it's going to take a while before these binders become loose and no longer usable. I also love the idea of the pen loop. The only thing that I will tell you that I'm really not happy about with this planner is that the vinyl could have just been a little bit tighter because it feels very loose in your hand. Other than that, guys, I would say that this is definitely worth the $20. I paid five. So of course, I just feel like I walked away with a steal. If you're planning on making a trip to Michael's and you are looking for this planner, you may not be able to find this exact planner because this was part of the holiday clearance haul. But it's likely that you will be able to find something very similar. Guys, I really do hope that you did enjoy this review. If there was anything in this video that you found helpful, useful, or downright creative, I ask that you please go ahead, hit that like button, and consider joining the praise team. This is Sherelle from Planner with a Praise saying peace and blessings.